Hello, and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies, and today I'll be showing you how to change the size of your document in Inkscape. Real quick before I get into it, if you wanna see more free and open source software tutorials like this one, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. When you open Inkscape for a new session, it pops up with a welcome screen that allows you to select a document size from the templates. But what if you are in the middle of a session like I am and you wanna change your document size? Well, to do that, all you have to do is come over here and click on the multi-page tool that was introduced in Inkscape 1.2. And this tool allows you to manually change the size of your document so you can click and drag on any of the corners here and that allows you to change the size. However, you may wanna be more precise with this. So what you can do is come over here and click the drop down and scroll through any of the templates in here and click on a template to change the size there. Or if you want to manually set the dimensions of your document without having to scroll through the templates, what you can do is come over here and just click on the field, the text field there, and just type the dimensions. So we'll type 1920 for the width. You'll type X to indicate that you want to start the next dimension, which will be the height. So we'll go 1080 for the height. And finally, you want to end it with the units you want to use. So let's go with pixels. You can also do millimeters, which would be MM, or inches, which would be IN, and there's a bunch of other ones. But once you're ready, just go ahead and hit the enter key. And now you'll see our document will automatically resize to those dimensions. And a little trick here, if you want to flip the dimensions, you can click this little icon here to the right and that will flip them. So now this is gonna be 1080 by 1920. One issue with changing your document size using this method is that the rulers are still gonna be in whatever the original units were for your composition. So in this case, my units are in millimeters. What you can do to change this is come over here and click on the document properties icon, or you can go to the document properties by going to file document properties. And so from here you can change the units and we can do that under front page. So we'll change that unit from millimeters to pixels as well as under display. So we'll change the display units here to pixels, which is what actually updates the rulers there. And then you can exit out of here once you're done. So let's come over here, grab the select tool. And if you wanna center up your document, just hit the five key on your keyboard. And now everything's centered up and the document is the size we want. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.